Before I start the paints, I'll just whiz through the materials. This is my palette. They are squeezed out and allowed to dry on the palette. Cotton and watercolour tubes. We've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, alizarin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, and light red. Three brushes, got the large one round to lake, three quarter inch flats, and hiding round the corners, a number three rigger. I have a bit of tissue. I often use it for the clouds, taking out the white clouds in the sky. Um, water jar, nicely, it takes off a lot of the excess water off the hake. The rest I take off with the uh, tea towel that's drying up there, and it's 15 by 11 Fabriano. Cold pressed, £130 watercolour paper. I'm going to start off with a big ache. Plenty of water, stretches the paper and allows me to do a nice soft sky as well. I'm just going to restrict myself to the three colours, raw sienna, burnt umber and ultramarine, I think. So once I'm happy that that's wet enough, I'm going to start off with a nice clean raw sienna. So this is going to try and get a nice, a nice glow going down the centre of the painting. I'll clean the brush and I'm going to go into burnt umber and ultramarine and then what I want to do is try and preserve a sort of light area down the middle let's just check there's no hairs just putting out any loose hairs there might be in the brush should be alright now. Eh? Back into my colours. Burnt on back. You basically got until the time it takes the paper to dry to get this sky in. Which as long as it's been wet pretty well, it, you you'll get a you should get enough time as long as you uh well you probably have to get a move on. Again, just burnt on back, ultramarine, and it's just each mix, I'm just getting slightly different variations. You can see I'm trying to preserve that sort of light area coming down the middle. So you can imagine the horizon is going to be about there, so this will be water at the bottom, so you've got the light reflecting off the water from the sky. You see? And as it slowly dries, it should go on slightly darker and darker. And what I'm going to do, you see it's getting quite dark now. So the paper's starting to dry a little bit. But try not to go on too much because once it is dry, you, you'll lose all these soft edges, and it'll just you'll just end up with hard edges. And it'll start, to, you'll lose um, the nicety of the effect. Now, while it is still slightly wet, let's just do a few little clouds coming down. And then they're just getting smaller and smaller as they go off onto the horizon. A few more on this side. Now the tissue comes into play. Now, a clean tissue like this. We'll bring it off. You see how it brings it off quite nicely. Obviously, if it's a dirty tissue, you'll get a more subtle effect. Depends what sort of effect you're looking for, really. You have a few clouds down this side. Keeping an eye on where exactly how, it, how it's going with the drying stage. And I can keep, as long as it is still wet, I can still go in and sort of darken it a bit here and there. Especially down this bottom area.
try not to overdo it. <clears throat> I'm fairly happy with that. I think I'll leave that as it is now with regards to the sky. Now the paper's stretched, so I'm just pulling it tight so I've got a flat surface to work with so it just stays flat to the board. Now, next thing I'm going to do is put the uh, distant landing. So, I'm going to say mix again, just ultramarine and burnt umber. Uh, and it's just popping some. You know, land on the horizon line. That's coming down. I've got too much water in this bush. I've just got I've just just enough water to hold the hairs together, basically. And then what you find is, see where the paint breaks, and you get these little unpainted spots. It's, it's it's just like little uh, little details that just go in there by accident. You don't even realise you're doing them. And that could be anything. Anything really. It could be the light reflecting off the top of buildings or whatever. Down here, kind of a bit of... Down by the water's edge. side as well. <coughs> yeah, I'm just dipping the tips in just to keep it paint wasn't coming off the brush very well it was drying up a bit so just dipping the very tips in just to loosen it up print some landing Once that's in, piece of card, but just put a few little pebbles in. Just a very simple. You'll need to wait until at least half dry, otherwise they'll just fill straight back in again. They get smaller and smaller as they, as they go up into the distance. Just a piece of plastic card, it's like a credit card or something. Just breaks up the foreground and adds a bit of interest. That's all that needs. I think I've uh, Pop the height back in the water. And before I go on, I just want to give that a quick try. Switch to the uh, rigger brush, just the number three rigger. I'm going to pop it in the water and then just take off a lot of the excess, a lot of the excess on the tea towel, just so it's slightly damp. And I'm just going to put a, a little yacht on the horizon there, making sure this hand's dry because I want to make a big blob on the paper. And find a nice little dark bit. And I'm just going to take out the shape of a sail. It's just like a little triangular piece. I 
quite a clean bit on the tissue and then if I just press the tissue on that it takes out the we end up with a little little yacht up there sewing on the horizon. Again. Down the brush. I'll pop another one over here. Dab it with the tissue. Mm. And then I'm just going to do one more somewhere next to this one here. Maybe slightly bigger. Clean part of the tissue just to soak up that wet paint so it comes clean off. And then we've got like three little yachts on the horizon. Back into that dark, dark mix. And again, don't want much water on this, just bring it to a fine point. Next pop a couple of birds, just very, very lightly. and then finally again just turn it to bring it to a point pop your name down in the corner and that one is another painting finish so let's see what it looks like with the names on it so we've got it nicely framed in our mains I remember I started with the raw sienna and said I wanted to get a nice sort of golden glow sort of the light from the sky reflecting into the sea, put it all in at the same time and then the rest of the sky, combination of ultramarine and burnt umber, working away the golden glow area down the middle and you can see there's a combination of the, the darker clouds put in with the, the hake and then these lighter white fluffy clouds put in, well taken out rather with the tissue, same on the other side just trying to build up a bit of interest in the sky, a bit of texture with those clouds. That dark mix used again for the uh, horizon land and you can see the little yachts put in, or taken out rather, with a, a damp rigger and then just dapped with a, a tissue just to create those white sails. And then where the paint breaks and all these hit and miss little bits there, look, Little bits of detail, could be anything really, little buildings, light reflecting off the buildings, but it's the light little um, details that happen by chance. Down in the foreground we've got our rocks created by scraping with the card. You sort of automatically get this sort of light, nice light effects reflecting off them with the shadows around the back. A few more rocks and pebbles on the other side, try to keep them small and subtle. Finally in the sky we got our little birds there. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you like that. Keep practicing. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.